Welcome to My Long Island TV. From Manhasset to Montauk, we have traveled our communities to bring you the following events. I'm your host, Waldo Cabrera. My Long Island TV starts now. Hi, my name is Charlene Miller and I'm the Executive Director of the Art League of Long Island. The Art League of Long Island actually started back in the 50s, around 1954-55, with a group of uh, young suburban uh, families that wanted to do artwork and it started in, in someone's kitchen uh, with folks wanting to um, be creative. Today we serve over 4,000 students. We have at any given time over 90 instructors and we offer sometimes as many as 240 classes in the visual arts. It's two trees, so you need to have oh, okay. this overlap and make this with the darker, darker right, the distinction. Darker. But the heart of the Art League is our artist instructors. Um, they are very talented and they love to share their talents and skills with our students here. So it kind of balances with that side, but I, I would take that out. I've had some students that come to me from uh, uh, painting all along at home and they just want a couple of tips and they want to learn some theory about it to improve their paintings. Then there are other people that painted in college and they have their old paints back in college and they want to get back into the hobby again. Uh, some people it's therapeutic reasons, they just need to come here to relax and uh, build on the friendships that we have and they do the best they can. It probably gives me more confidence to paint here and uh, not, I, I'm not sure how I would do at home. At one point I want to be able to paint more at home but I do enjoy coming here. The people here are terrific. We've become close over the years and it becomes a, a very enjoyable three hours when you're here getting to see and you see people progress and um, you kind of root each other on and help each other. It's, uh, it's, a, it's a magical place in a lot of ways. You don't get this in a lot of places you go to, the interaction and the, the care um, and support. Another thing that you want to do is the dots, the, the kind of moss, you want to do it while this is wet. I've been in, uh, instructor here last 19 years and this art form has something very unique to offer um, because of the uh, material as well as the style and I think this art form closely linked to the East Asian way of thinking. I was traveling, I was in Hong Kong and I saw someone doing it in the street and my heart just stopped. I wanted to do this. So when you create this, you just hide the tip like right here. I learned that it looks very easy when Sun Ke Do does it, and it's not when we do it. Um, it's a simple medium, it's ink, it's only one color, but there's so much nuance into it. And that's what you can apply to life. It's not just black and white. It's a beginner's glass bead making class. And what we do is basically we melt glass and then we make them into beads. And it's a lot harder than you think because first you start out with melting glass and then you try to get something that looks round, which is not easy. <laughs> I, love, I love it myself. Like I do this pretty much every day, four or five hours a day because I can. Teaching is always exciting. Like I just get to pass on knowledge and get fire people up and get excited about this medium and it's it's just interesting and cool. When I was a child I was in Venice and I really enjoyed the Murano glass factory and this is the closest thing to blowing glass you could get and it's creative and it's a terrific medium to work in. I've been wanting to for quite a while take classes and you know sometimes timing is everything. I had time that I could spend coming now and it just I've something I've wanted to do for a long time and I've looked at their catalogs for a long time and dreamed about what I wanted to take and when I saw this course I said that's it. 
It's always a pleasure to step back from whatever our work is or our family obligations and to sit down with a, with a pad and a pencil and a paintbrush and, and just really get into the, the pleasure of doing art. The Art League is open seven days a week. Monday through Sunday and the gallery is always open and there's usually always an exhibit going on here and we do hope that you will visit the Art League, come and see our gallery, stop in to see our classes and we thank you.